Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add grid or you can say graphic wheel in any projections in any shape file. So you can see here within this our map view, you can see Australia shape file. And I want to add grid of Australia. So for that, you should click at first this layout view. Okay. So you can see like this or you can easily click here insert and you can just click here data frame and after this clicking this data frame this data frame you can see this kind of interface but this frame is not suitable with this presence map so i want to change the orientations i want to take the landscape mode so for that just click anywhere within this option right click click here this page and print setup and simply click this landscape okay nothing to do here click okay so after this you just select this one and drag it below and adjust with the frame okay now i want to improve okay so i think yes our map showing is then click here zoom to layer okay so it look like good so now i want to add the uh, grid so for that just click here right click within this uh, panel within this australia click here properties and you can see here within this data frame properties the grids simply click click here grids then click on new grids and you just click on next 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 and finish because i want to show different settings after or you can see from this properties so just click here properties so i will start with the interval the first one the interval of our grids so you should uh, know that the gray extension of our the shape file or any country so the you can see the default setting is 10 degree and 10 degree latitude and longitude so i can go with this so simply click here and click on apply and you can see here if i select 10 degree 10 degree then this kind of or this much of uh, grids will come but if you want to reduce that you can do so how we can do that just again click on this properties and you can see here the interval so i want to take interval 15 degree into 15 degree you can choose okay then click here apply okay then again apply so now we can see here the grid 15 degree into 15 degree okay so our grid is okay but the values here you can see here it is not feasible so how you can do this so again click on this properties go to lines while line is important if you don't want to see or you don't want to show the lines within this map you just click here show as grid or you can select here do not show lines or streak then click on ok and apply so you can see nothing is there okay so again to go to properties i want to go with the lines okay display all these values so for that go to levels and you can see here the front so simply select any front from this drop down menu okay and the size i want to select 16 then bold okay and i can click here okay and apply so now you can see here the values of our map but here another important uh, you can say the problem is there the thing is that the longitudinal value is horizontal and it well adjusted with our frame but latitudinal value that also showing the horizontal but this is create problem if we change our orientation of this latitude value then it show it show better so we can do that also again click here this properties and you can see here this label label orientation vertical level 
so here I just you just select this left and right because this left and right actually we want to show vertically okay then click on ok then apply so now you can see here this uh, the left and right that means latitudinal value also showing the vertically but again we can see another problem that the problem is that you can see only degree values okay degree minute and second so unnecessary minute and second actually appearing here because we select only 15 degree into 15 degree so no need to show this value if you don't want to show this value you can also change the setting again go to properties then within this label option you just go additional properties okay click here and within this label type you can see here standard decimal degree degree and decimal minute okay so you can select from here only this decimal degree okay then click and apply okay and apply okay okay apply so you can see here only degree value you can see here okay but again you can change if you do again any kind of map in your rgs so there may be need degree minute and second but there also create some problem because i have already selected or you can say already setting or uh, you can say the grid as a only degree okay so if our value is very less or if you want to show the degree and minute then we are unable to show that so in that case you also again just click on this level go to additional properties and you can change here like this degree and decimal minute okay if you want to show degree minute second all of this thing then you should select the standard okay standard okay okay and apply so you can say degree minute and second but if you want to show only degree and minute then add, click on this additional setting then click here degree and decimal minute okay click ok ok and apply you can see degree and minute and if you want to show only degree only then select additional this decimal degree only okay then click on ok ok and apply okay so here you can see only degree value showing okay so this is the simple uh, tutorial by which we actually learned so many things about the uh, the construction of grid and the, their different properties so thank you for watching and keep subscribe my channel for more video and more update thank you thank you again